No, I'm uh, of the Mario games I played was not really I like outright hate to like. I mean, I'm not as fond of the, of the NES games or their All Stars remakes as other people are, but. Mm -hmm. I kind of suck at all the NES games just in general. <laughs> I'm really Maybe bad. Castlevania run was anything to go by. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's Castlevania. Um, but like, I <laughs> Mario like Two USA or Doki Doki Panic. I I suck horribly at that game. Still do? Maybe. I, I haven't played it in a long time. I haven't played... I haven't played the original... You can't even say the NES Trilogy, because there's two versions of Mario 2. NES Quadrilogy, or whatever you say that? The NES games. Yeah. Like, I haven't played any of them in, like, a decade, so... Mario World is kind of where I truly... That's the one I get. Mm. Yeah, Mario World is definitely, like... It's probably the only, like, old-school Mario game that I'm actually decent at. So I like this level a lot, because it, it plays... More so than the first Bowser stage, it, it plays a lot with the gravity with these, like, platforms. Oh, great, I messed up. If we're not talking about, like, main series, are there, like, any spin-offs that you guys don't like? I mean, I um, don't know, like, handful, like later, Um... Sticker Star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's low-hanging low fruit. I know but, yeah. it's low-hanging fruit, but it's easy to go for. Yeah, I, I've only played that game for, like, five minutes, but, yeah. Uh, I'll be in it. Yeah, uh... Not because it's not because it's necessarily bad, but Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. <laughs> uh, Just because there's like nothing in that game. <laughs> yeah, it's like a drive run for the Switch Mario sports games. It pretty it's, much you know, is, yeah. Just not just more DLC in the latter. Yeah, Mar on Ultra Smash is like one of the most um, like we need to make this for a quick buck uh, Mario games I've I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Dark Matter is instant kill, so... Just ask Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes. Let's see, um... I-I-I play- I play enough to get under- I play enough games to get to Mar to get Mario, but... Right. Like everything. Like, I don't know, least favorite, I guess, is... Mario Party 8, which isn't a bad mm. game by any means. Uh, yes. I don't know Mario. why. I don't know why he kept on walking backwards. I was scared. Oh! oh! See, it's like nothing. Why? Yeah. Yeah, I like stuff like this. This is like one one of my favorite instances of like how they use the gravity. To be... 74 lives. Yeah, yeah. you need to pay attention to where you're actually standing, because you can cause issues if you... If you, uh... Look, once you hit the gravity planes. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. I like, I like stuff like this. Yeah. I mean, I'll give, I'll definitely give the Mario series this, like, there aren't a lot of, like, flat-out bad Mario games. Like, a lot of the obvious ones are, like, games that no one's really gonna play it, it unless they just wanna do it for laughs, like Hotel Mario or, like, Mario is Missing and stuff like that. Is Hotel uh, Mario even an actually bad game? Like, I've... I don't know. Eh. Yeah. I, the most I hear about Hotel Mario is just the cutscenes are hilarious. It's just like, what it's been one of those days. <laughs> it's one of the like the cutscenes are the most easily accessible part of the game. Like, and yeah. I mean in the literal sense, like you can't buy Hotel Mario easily. Yeah, from what I understand, the game itself is just not that interesting. But I I, I don't know. Okay, Mario, let's try this again. Yeah. I like this fight because it's a lot more difficult than the first one, and he actually has a spin move now. So he's- it's like one of those things in- in games where 
your main rival has yeah. like an ability you have. Oh no, I like that. Yeah, it's good. He he does. He only has it in this fight though. He doesn't have it in the final fight, which is a bit sad. Also, yeah. um. It is flaming tail, Mario. That won't hurt you at all. Yeah, right? Correct! <laughs> um, also, joke about how the choir sounds like they're saying soap over and over again. Well, I would be bathing in Mario to destroy my bath. Yeah. Also, you, you can hit him back. Oh. That's cool. No reason to, though. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you, can, huh. you can make him do that. I never knew that. I think it needs to be the last time he spins, though. Otherwise, you're just, you're just gonna get knocked back. Roof. Oh. I think this is the first mainline game where Kenny James voices Bowser. Mm. Or maybe New Mario One. Maybe. I don't know. They were like reusing. Actors audio around his time a lot. Yeah, boy. Yeah, it's been him back twice now, right? Yep. Technically, Mario doesn't even have to really move to do this. Yeah, you can just wait for him. The had a, 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 a circuit uh, uh, had the benefit of round planets. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> Not bad. I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch enemy. At least you always put up a fight. <laughs> Does he say that to Luigi <laughs> too? <laughs> I think so, actually. Yeah. <laughs> too bad my master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Mario. Rough. Speed. Yes. So he didn't take the grand star with him. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you smacked me non-lethally. Take the star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie then. When you, put it, when you put it that way. You looked at my general direction. Take the star. <laughs> I mean, there are like uh, moons you can get in Odyssey where it's, where it's just like, oh, thanks for sitting down to talk to me. Have a, have I was a literally moon. going to say that one. Yeah. Hooray. Now I saw Lumos spin around when the Grand Star enters the old core. Yeah. And now Ooh, the whole place is lit up. Mm. So when we start playing through the engine room stages, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make that a point for uh, that'll be Jason's time to talk about the uh, observatory because you did say you're gonna talk about it when everything was lit up. So we're gonna do that next session. Yeah, I've been waiting for you to talk about the hands. Oh so yeah, that this galaxy here is is the final Bowser stage. <laughs> You had to ascertain the location of your special one. Please take a look at the circle by your feet. Yeah, this is hilarious because it, it's got to go to yeah. It's just one right now, and just wait like a minute the or so. The, the number represents the power stars. You need to reach the center of the universe, and will decrease with each power star you recover. And when it reaches zero, the comet observatory will fully regain its power and flies the starship again. And then we will be able to reach the center of the universe. And then, yeah, we're gonna save it, and look what look what immediately happens. <laughs> Comet is to its full power. Now I can fly through the cosmos again. Did he? <laughs> I don't know why. Mario just... didn't even look. Yeah, it's just really funny how it does. Fine. You want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? Yeah, we could end the game right now if we wanted to. You speak to me again when you are ready. Yeah, I just find it funny how it like specifically stays on one when you have enough stars, and it just goes imme immediately to zero. Um. Yeah, so, All right, so I guess we're doing story time. Um. Yeah. There's nothing else. Like we just go to the engine room next. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. Yeah, I'll check the board. Make sure there's no comets. Right. Nope, that's it. Wow. Yeah, okay. But can you even see what the galaxies are if you hover over them? In engine room. In engine room? No. 
You, oh, you, no, no, it's because they're blocked out. Yeah, you need to actually activate them. Yeah. Oh, right, right. I was probably thinking of the free trial galaxies. Yeah, next time we'll do the trial galaxies. Um. Well, since it's your time for story time, I'm... Well, it's only one chapter. No, we, we no, unlocked, we like... More. We unlocked two or three. Oh, we'll uh, see. Do, do you want to... Who, who wants to do the narrator? Or, or to be the narrator? You two just jump between them. I'm gonna. Hey, this is your deal. <laughs> Would you switch off every word? <laughs> yeah, that's not not gonna be horrendous. <laughs> then, Harry. One. Day. <laughs> We're not actually gonna do that. <laughs> okay, no, fine. Let's all do it. Are you? No, no. I don't want to ruin this. Bed one day. No, seriously. <laughs> do you want to do the being the narrator, Scrappy, or uh, do you want? Then me? one day, while the girl sat sipping tea, a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another Luma of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? Oh, <laughs> do you two know each other? The girl asked the two Lumas glee. Asked the two Lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. Two Lumas neither drew closer nor backed away from each other. Instead, they just stared. Then one Luma broke the silence. My mama. At once, the apricot Luma parroted back. My mama, my mama. My mama, my mama. <laughs> oh, God. Two Lumas began to dance around the girl frantically, and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh. And that's when something very strange happened. <laughs> Suddenly, more Lumas began to pop out from the apricot planet. They were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama! My mama! The sight of all the shouting Lumas only made the girl laugh harder. What am I going to do with all these children? The Lumas just stared blank, stared blankly as she doubled over laughing. <laughs> I guess we'll have to name each and every one of you. Oh crap, you didn't name any of them outside of Larry. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, be careful, if you, be careful when you name them all, because you might use up all your magicals and have to rest for three days. Please somebody, please tell me somebody gets that reference. <laughs> Wait, you got that reference? No, I, I don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> By that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that. Okay. Anyways, continue. Or you, or you could no. Or you could um go to the like what's it the Charo Garden fortune teller and just make, make it make the uh, Charo like give you like some random ass name. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, when she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the Lumas into the new house. Seven, the telescope. <clears throat> After seeing their 100th comet, a sudden thought popped into, popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home planet is still as blue as it was. She doesn't look like she's physically aged at all. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I assume that there is, hasn't been much of a time gap from the start of this. She said, the book said years, like I'm uh, ruining this, but still. I don't know. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. Seeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into sight. It was smaller than the star bit. How strange. It's so far away, but it feels so close. Yeah, that, that, that just looks like Peach's castle back there. She twisted the knob of the telescope, and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grassy hill dotted with flowers. It seemed very familiar to her. Zooming even closer, a terrace on the hill came into view. I used to go stargazing there when I lived on my home planet. She remembered rubbing the sleep out of her eyes as she followed her father up that hill to look at the stars. She remembered how she and her brother would sled down that hill. She remembered having... 
She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill on bright and windy days. And... I want to go home. I want to go home right now. The girl burst into tears, and the Lumas didn't know what to do. I want to go home. I want to go back to my house, house by the hill. I want to see my mother. The girl was shouting now, her face wet with tears. But I know she's not there. I knew all along that she wasn't out there in the sky. Because... Because... She's sleeping under the tree on the hill. That is a very evil that way is, of saying it. Yeah, that is, yeah, they they can't like obviously say Strout like death or whatever, so they have to like be creative with how they word it. Uh so yeah, I'm look, I'm a child, like was she was her family dead all along or did they just die in the interim when she was traveling? Yeah, I don't know. The girl's cries echoed the girl's cries echoed through the stars and a hush fell over the area. Well that's quite a downer. <laughs> I know. Well, that's all. Yeah, yeah, that's so like... yeah, so uh my my mother died. See you guys next time. Yeah. Mama, what happened to the little girl? Oh, she died. <laughs> and then she just walks out. Tell me you're cutting it. Cu tell me you're cutting it right there. Well, unless we have anything else. To wait, say. wait, wait, wait. That was really bad. What? Mario at the wall. Oh, yeah. No, I, I like to. Like, I think he was humping the wall for a second. Like Mario just really nice. Like, oh, oh no. I don't know. I know Mario. You like walks out. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> like that. This and, so, this is. And the movie was better. Yeah. yeah, it's really it, the storybook is really interesting because like it's so it's so much more depressing than you're really used to for like any Mario game, like or mainly the like the platformers. Like you don't really have stuff like that in other, the other ones. It's I'm a, I'm yeah. admittedly still as confused now as I was playing it as a as, as a touch as a child. Yeah, I don't, like I'm. I, I'm an idiot. I don't understand. I don't understand symbolism. <laughs> Was so she. I'm going off of what we read in the text. Provided Rosalina is not being an unreliable narrator, she <laughs> left her family when they were alive to help the Luma find her mama. They travel in space for several years. <laughs> Rosalina doesn't seem to have physically aged that much, which might be a side effect of the Luma's magic. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Like, Rosalina is probably very old, which is... So I guess she just ages slowly. Yeah. Way too many star bits. Do you so, really want to quit? Uh, before I do... Yeah, be before I do that, I'll just um, let you finish. So she... Tries to help the Luma find her mom... Find their mama. That doesn't happen. They find a new home. They find some other Lumas. Rosalina decides to look at her home planet with her telescope. And she comes to the realization that she can't really go home again because her family is gone, if they were ever there to begin with. Yeah, I always, I yeah, um, I got I get the I got the impression that like, um, her parents were, like dead before she like went off. And she just yeah, didn't would didn't be, realize. It'd be very weird that she would just up and abandon her family like that. Yeah, that. Yeah, it, it's definitely not perfect. Um, like she kind of just left without any warning. I mean, like it feels like a deconstruction of the usual Mario adventure. Hey, let's go on a journey, but then it takes actual years, and there's like you know consequences for that. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't think I'm not sure if that's what was the intent, but that's what it comes off as. Yeah, I mean, again, this is um, a story that Korizumi wrote in his spare time, so... Wrote and possibly did not vet with anyone to kind of, like, go over internal logic. Mm, yeah, th there's definitely some areas that they that he could have, like, fixed up on or, like, rewritten to, like, mm. have it more, be more, more coherent, I guess, but I Neo do... Moto, yeah. go on. No, I was gonna, I was just gonna say, I do... I do enjoy it as a like general like story though. I think I think it is pretty interesting, even if it is 
honestly pretty out of place for a Mario game. <laughs> Miyamoto didn't crack down on story because he hates story. He cracked down on it because he didn't get to be an editor. <laughs> <laughs> this is canon. <laughs> It's like, Mimo would just be like, I thought we were friends. How dare you? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's it. That, oh, I think I... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to, like, uh, pin this for next time, but what... I think what I wanted to talk about way earlier <laughs> was um, actually the Mimo thing and the thing about him, quote-unquote, not liking stories, because... I did see an interesting video by Super Mario T that goes over a lot of that stuff, and it's a lot more, like, complicated than just Miyamoto doesn't like stories. It's not, it's not as simple as that, and that's something I do want to go over next time, because it's, it's pretty interesting, and I, th there's a lot of just false accusations going around, like, still today, about the stuff regarding BMO, so I think that would be nice to just discuss that next time, but yeah. Harry, oh. did you know that Miyamoto hates Donkey Kong Country? Yeah, the <laughs> stuff like that, um, which, like, if, if he hated D uh, DKC, then he wouldn't have, like, given that team so much, um, like, help. <laughs> but I don't know where that came from. He had some grievances. Uh, he did make one com He did make one derivative comment about DKC at time. At a time, like, that is true. He apologized yeah. for it. Yeah. Like, Miyamoto apparently was getting pressured by his bosses and Nintendo to make a game that looked like Donkey Kong Country, mm. and that's why he made Yoshi's Island the way it, the way he did. Yeah, and I was pre-rendered graphics <laughs> crayons. <laughs> I mean, it, I'll say this. Um... Miyamoto specifically wanted, like, DKC Returns to be as faithful to the original SNES games as possible, so if he didn't like DKC, then he probably would have wanted Returns to be, um, like, a, a lot different. Yeah, it probably, it probably would have been a lot different, so, yeah, keep, keep that in mind, I guess. But yeah, we're rambling at this point, so... Yeah, next time we'll talk about the Miyamo thing. Scra uh, scrappy. Uh, Jason will talk about the Observatory, and we'll probably die a bunch to the free trial galaxies and all that good stuff. So, yeah, that'll be it for now. Um, so, yeah, see you guys next time. Have a good night. Does the funny Jason have any fine uh, passing words? Good morning, Gato.